is the flip flop kitties. Very nice. What's up? We've got our map today. It's all it's all here. We're gonna try and do as much as we can do today. We've got a cool driver. Uh, what's your name? Foot Hello, Hello Futung is his name. We've got Futung, we've got the map and we're very happy. So we're gonna go around the island and we're gonna check out some cool places. Commonly everybody goes round on two wheels on their scooters and we have done it before, a whole family on a scooter in hood but the roads are not too good um, in New Zealand, a lot of dirt tracks so to be on the safe side we've got a driver and uh, Ben's got the map and we're ready to go. So let's enjoy the ride. For 5,000 rupiah um, we are hiring one and that's Ben's getting wrapped up. Mommy, Emiliana in a minute. I got green. Lovely I got Emiliana. Green. And Zach you got rubble one. Okay, so when you come to Goa, get a mouthful. You need to make sure that you stay respectful and you wear the appropriate attire. So you've got to wear a sarong. Um, you don't have to wear a hat, but I'm a little bit extra. Let's go. But you look nicer. You've hydrated, whereas mine's a bit. I'm a bit mismatched, but still, I saved five thousand. So get it. We need you. Quite a few steps to get to to get right up to the top, so be prepared. Um, if you've got a child like me, you're in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're here. Yeah. It's holy water. You're getting a blessing. <laughs> you get a welcome drink in the temple. Mammoth steps, we've got our blessing, we've paid our donation of 20 rupiah each, and now we're going down a very sketchy looking cave, but I'm sure it's good and proper. When you walk inside the cave, um, if you go out the way you're supposed to go out, it's quite a long walk outside the building around back to where the car park is. So if you can, a quick tip is try and go back the way you came in, which will be a lot more easier and a lot more cooler because we've done the long walk and it's quite, it's quite hot outside today. On to the manta race next. To get to the viewpoint uh, for Manta, to see the Manta rays, you need to go past this temple, walk down this side all the way to the end, and that's where you'll find a good viewpoint to see the Manta rays and that gorgeous view. We're here at Broken Beach. Um, you have to pay to come inside, which was, how much was the payment to get inside? 5,000. Was that for adults? So we paid 10,000, yeah, for the two of us. Uh, yeah, the, the journey down was interesting, very bumpy, um, very crazy. If you're coming down, expect to be just yeah going up and down. I wouldn't really have a heavy breakfast if you're going to leave first thing in the morning because you will literally be jumping up and down. I had to hold a head of a three-year-old the whole way. It's quite difficult, but the roads are extremely bumpy. So if you come in a, in a, in a car, expect to be going up and down and expect to be going one mile an hour. Anyway, let's go check out the place. Here we are. Oh wow, look at that. Saki, you stay back please. Good boy. Look at that. Wow. That is amazing. This is the gorgeous broken beach. Look at the color of the water, the cliffs. Wow, absolutely stunning and worth 
the crazy ride. It is hot. So we're just walking down from, what's the step there? Broken Beach. And uh, now we're walking towards Angel's Billabong. So that's, these are two sites you can do in one after doing the mammoth trek to get to it by a motorbike or car. At Angel's Billabong, a bit of a construction site, but there I have got some stairs. So let's go and take a dip in this natural plunge pool. Definitely recommend bringing your coral shoes because it's a bit slippery. Next stop on our little lift around Nisa Panida is. Do you know him, Minnie? Okay, our final stop of the day um, of our little road trip around Nusa Panita is Crystal Cove and the plan was to go for a little dip but I think all that bouncing around in the car has taken out the kids and they have passed out. So I'm going to go check it out. sure why I'm so energetic. I'm actually really tired. It's been a long day. Um, going around Nusa Penida, the lovely, the beautiful Nusa Penida. Um, the only reason we've done so much is because we had a driver and we paid to have a car. If you get a scooter, it's up to you, but you probably won't do as much and you'll find the roads very bumpy. They're extremely bumpy. Our friends came out here a little while ago and they saw accidents. So I'd only really get a scooter if you're A, on a really tight budget or B, you only want to do a few things. If you want to really explore, just try and up your budget a bit and go and get a car. If you've got a driver, you'll know the routes, you'll be a lot more safer. Um, the, the car can get a bit bumpy at times. My son was doing some mad stuff, um, but you'll be safer and you'll probably pay a bit more. We paid 7,000 for the car for the whole day. Um, sorry, 700,000 for the whole day. Um, and I think it's just a whole lot better. It's a whole lot better. Like I said, you'll do much more and um, the driver will take your pictures for you. Um, it's just it's just a lot more easier. We left at 10, we were back by about four o'clock and we had done so much. So try and up your budget a bit if you can and just get a car. Um, so standard things really, um, comfortable shoes, make sure you've got your water, your refreshments. If you're a parent, uh, stack your bag up with all those lovely little snacks your kids like to have, um, lots of water. Uh, and just enjoy the day, it's going to be a great day. Um, Kalen King was my highlight, I loved it, it was so amazing. When you approach it and you look at it, it just it takes your breath away. It's a bit like, for me, we've been travelling for six months and I had the same feeling when I first saw Christ the Redeemer in Rio. I was like, I was just in awe. So I had the same kind of thing about uh, uh, Kellen King. So um, yeah, that's our tips. If you like the video, if you appreciate the vibe and the love, give us a quick like, subscribe, 
be part of the Flip Flop family and hopefully we'll see you again soon people. Peace! Okay, I totally forgot to say that I'm not doing anything on the toilet. <laughs> you guys are wondering, I've just watched this guy give me advice and he's sitting on the toilet. I'm only sitting on here because our lighting outside the hotel is really poor and my kids are getting ready for bed in the next room. So the only available space was the toilet, hence why I'm here. I'm not doing anything, I promise. Just wanted to clarify that, guys. Have a great day. Peace.